Hello students and welcome. It's me, your instructor, Al Trujillo. And I wanted to record this quick video just to show you a little bit about how to use some of the uh, buttons for the ability to post material in the discussion board, but also specifically to attach a photo in your discussion board post. So here I am in Blackboard and uh, this may look different than what you're seeing by a little bit. Uh, but this is for the Oceanography 100 online course. And um, some of the buttons and controls and maybe the banner will be different. But I uh, just wanted to show you what it's like to go into the discussion board. So I'm going to click on this discussion board link here. And this will take you to the discussion board and for the um, and show you various weekly assignments, including this one, which is Who Are You? Now, the instructions on here uh, we'll give you information about how to um, uh, actually insert a photo here. You're going to use this little picture icon. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And uh, I'm actually redoing this video here, so this will have a different image on it in just a moment once I upload that. But let's go in here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to create a thread, which is what you should do. You'll notice that several students have already been in there and been creating those. So um, this is Al Trujillo. I'm going to type this in. And uh, then one of the things that you'll notice when you first get into the uh, default settings within Blackboard is you'll get this area to type in your message. However, you'll need to click on this little double downward arrow to show more. That then becomes the default. So once you have that set, it will always show you these three lines here. So on these lines here, what you'll do is you will comprise your message. You can type it in and you can do some interesting things with it. Um, if you hover your mouse button over the various types of, of uh, symbols that are up here, it'll tell you what they actually do, including the spell check there. Uh, but uh, what I have done is I've already um, comprised my post in Word, and all I'm going to do is just paste it in there. And it will always ask you whether you're allowing access there. And uh, yes, you are. So there's my post, but I want to add my picture here, okay? So um, you'll need uh, this bottom row here. Uh, this actually records from the webcam. Don't use this one. This inserts a file, but it's hard for students, other students to see who you are by just inserting a file. That might be useful to attaching a homework assignment or something else. Uh, but the one you want to use is this one, insert edit image. And by the way, you can click on these other ones or run your mouse by these to see what they do. But this is the one that you want, the Insert Edit Image button. And by clicking on that, it's going to get you to another page, another window opens. And then what you'll do is um, you will browse your computer for your photo. So I'm going to select a photo of myself, and I already have one here on the desktop here. So I'm going to just double click on that, and there it is. It's uh, picture of me in Antarctica, penguins in the background, probably more interesting than me here. And uh, then with this, you can type in an image description and a title if you'd like, but uh, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, and then you can do some interesting things here with the appearance, and uh, you can reset the dimensions uh, with constant proportions here, so it's always square or whatever size that you took it at. You can put in some vertical space, a border is sometimes helpful. And the style line actually fills itself in. In fact, what I'm going to do for alignment, I'm going to put mine as a left alignment so that the, um, the, uh, the text will wrap around the image. So if you notice here, the style is now flow left. And uh, there's some other advanced uh, options there, but probably just leave those as default. So uh, once I'm done with that, I'll click on Insert. And it says, are you sure you want to continue? We don't have any description on it. And that's fine. You don't have to put a description on there. And you'll see now that my image is put in there. Now, my image might be a little bit big. So here's a little trick that you can do. You can click on the image, and then you can just resize it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to resize it. Resize it down a little bit more, maybe. And uh, then that kind of looks a little bit better. 
with uh, wrapping the text around us a little bit slightly smaller image. So you could do that. In fact, if you click on this uh, insert edit image now, the, the image is highlighted and it will take you right back to this and you can see that my dimensions there have been reset there. Um, so you can, um, you know, you, you can play around with that there. I'm gonna cancel out of that. And uh, they, notice I have a link in here. Uh, these are the images that actually do uh, inserting and breaking links there. You can add all sorts of stuff there. So um, that's a basic uh, way in which to add an image. You'll use this again in this course. And uh, just click on Submit. And then it'll take a minute for this to upload. And then it will put it in as a post. And there it is. There I am. All bundled up in my Antarctica gear, <laughs> which I was uh, down there in November of 2012. So, uh, but anyway, here is uh, information about me, and you can add a couple of images if you like. And uh, if you do add images, please resize and make them small, a little easier for everybody to see them. And uh, let's see, I think I just want to exit out of this here. Okay, just click on the OK here. And uh, that's how to do it. And then, uh, of course, there's other stuff for you to explore here. And um, all these are active links that you can uh, go and see. Um, if you're just starting out the course, you'll need to click on the basic course info. And you'll need to answer questions about how to use the adaptive release in Blackboard. And, and be sure to click on these mark review buttons right here. And that is how to do uh, a post in the discussion board and also how to add an image.